What is up? I'm gonna show you eight editing tips in the Video Leap app to make your next video look like it was done by a pro. You'll have people asking you, how'd you do that? If you are a beginner and haven't gone over the basics of Video Leap yet, then watch this video first and then come back here and we can go over some more advanced tools together. Well, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that don't know me, my name is Chelsea and I am here to teach you how to create and monetize your content. So if that sounds like something that interests you, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell notification so that you can be notified when my next video comes out. Below, I have created timestamps for you to jump to any tip that will help you because I value your time. All right, let's jump into it. Okay, so here we are, home screen. And we're gonna click the plus button once again. And I have a bunch of clips already uh, here for us. These are the clips that I'm gonna be using for all of our demos. So we're just gonna add them all in at the project. I just wanna start off with a simple fade in and fade out. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna start off by clicking on the clip and you're gonna add a keyframe. And then you can add another keyframe here wherever you would like. So the first keyframe is going to be black and the second one is going to be where it completely becomes where you can see it and it's not opaque anymore. You're going to go to opacity and you're going to go to zero at the first keyframe and there you go. And it will already know for you that the second keyframe is going to be 100% opacity. Beautiful. Okay, the second thing is going to be a zoom out to fit the screen. All right, let's just say that we are going to overlay this video on top of this video. Okay. And let's say that we put this video a little bit smaller like that. Um, and you want to make it fit the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to transform and we're gonna hit fill. So it's just a really simple trick uh, to make your video fit the screen so you don't go overboard and end up zooming in more than your video actually is, if that makes sense. <laughs> Next, while we're here, I'm gonna show you how to blend two clips together. We're gonna blend the two clips together. We're gonna overlay it like this. We can turn it down a little bit if we wanted to. or we can turn it up. This one looks good, I think. And we can add a mask, linear, drag it up. With the blending, can just turn it down a little bit so it looks a little bit more natural there. Okay, and that's how you blend two clips together. Okay, next editing tip is reversing. And then you can adjust the speed as well. So you can make it go two times as fast if you would like. You can also make it go slower. You may need to hit the smooth button depending on your clip. Next, let's talk about some FX layers. So you have all of these FX layers that you can put onto any of your clips if you would like. So this one, just a little bit of a lighting flicker. Looks pretty cool, but you can play around with all of those and see what fits your video best. So let's talk about the cutout option. So I filled myself against a white wall, just kind of looking around as if I'm in a new place. I am going to take this video, bring it into the top layer over on top of another video over here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit the cutout button. And now it looks like I'm in this area. Let's look at this. All 
right, so the best way to make this work is if you film yourself in front of a white backdrop or a green backdrop or something that's just simple. Um, if you have a lot of clutter in the background or anything like that, it's not gonna work as well. So just make sure that you have an easy background for this one. Okay, next thing that I'm gonna show you is how to mask a clip. So I wanna show you how to basically splice two clips kind of together so that in this particular one, there's gonna be two of me. So it looks like I'm sitting beside myself. So here's the first clip and here's the second clip. I'm gonna drag this clip over top of this one. All right, so here we go. I'm walking into the scene here. Now we have another clip. So right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mask it. We're gonna do the linear. And I'm just gonna use my fingers and turn it all the way here. I'm gonna put it on this part of the couch there. There you go, now there's two of me. You can use this in a video where you wanna like speak to yourself if you wanted to um, do one of like those Instagram reels where you're pretending to be multiple people and then you can actually speak to yourself and have two of you in the video. That's a great way to up your content game. Okay, next thing that we're gonna talk about is exporting. I realized in my last video I never talked about that, um, so I wanted to talk about that now. But that is basic knowledge of Video Leap. So the export button is just up on the right-hand corner here. So you can export in whatever resolution that you'd like. You can do uh, 720, 1080, 4K, and whatever frames per second. And then you can save it. You can also export it to social media if you would like to. But if your video is not a high resolution video, make sure that you're not exporting in a high resolution. And next, let's talk about AI. Now there's AI templates. People are creating templates with AI filters. You can go through and find these templates and create a very simple clip here. Um, so I've chosen this clip to show you quite cool it's kind of like the Pokemon one and it's very very simple I just had to choose one clip and it created a video for me there's a lot of really cool stuff in this app that makes it really easy for you to make content so make sure that you check it out now that I have shown you some tips to up your content game it's time to get creating I would love to hear if this video is helpful to you and what you would like to see from me next time so let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you in the next video Stay weird, friends.